Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I would like to show how to play the song The Eye of the Tiger using the registration bank you will find on Discover Genus for free. You can download the registration bank, all the settings on the Yamaha website. I will copy the link in the description of this video. The data are collected in a zip archive. After expanding, you copy everything to one stick and simply connect the stick. Go to Playlist. Then here you have this Playlist selection. You change to USB and you see here a folder Discover Genus. And here you see all the playlists like home play, producer, and what we need is stage performer. Press again to playlist. And here the last entry is the eye of the tiger. Enter. And here we go. We have also an explanation in the display you can see. And also a demo which is loaded. You can see it here, the eye of the tiger. We can check it like this. All the things are set, including audio link multipad like this. And you can start the song in different ways, for example, like this. You see here in the display appears a description of this registration bank. You can press direct access and exit to go back to the main screen and then everything is ready. Simply play. Okay, but there's also another possibility. If you start the song like this, you have the audio link multi-patch and the left side, as you can see here, is set to Synco Stop. And this is important to play these short accents like and together with the audio link multipad as soon as you change to the second registration you see the settings are done to play with the style the style i have used is the 80s classic rock the Audio link multipad is set to Synco Start, Synco Start Audio linked multipad. And in the second registration, of course, the multipad has to disappear. And for that reason, you see here in the mixing console that the volume of the audio link multipad is set to zero. Okay. The second trick which is used here is, you see it if you press direct access and press the sustain pedal which is connected here to the instrument, you see the sustain pedal is set to modulation plus because sustain makes absolutely no sense with the electric guitar sound. It is important to, yeah, to make this effect and because you need both hands it is impossible to make to, to use the joystick on the left hand and so I used the pedal to play like this yeah. and you see it is very simple to go over from the intro with the audio link multipad yeah, to the style playing. This is the trick and this is absolutely safe. Nothing will happen because everything is set perfectly in sync. I added the seventh in, in this part like a, yeah, instead of this power chord. I start with the power chord. The power chord is always uh, the root and the fifth yeah? yeah, with this modulation effect and then in this second part yeah, yeah, which makes it even bigger, yeah? And then change. 
So, and you see, in the third registration, the setting for the first of the song, this Wulitzer type of sound, I generally don't like to play uh, in this type of songs, sounds like saxophone or other uh, sounds. I always prefer to play keyboard sounds on the keyboard instrument. The interesting thing is, whatever you change, this change of sounds is seamless. That means you have here this distorted guitar. You change it, you change the sound, nothing happens, yeah, and here. Yeah, and immediately you have another sound. And this is possible because I always change, if I change sounds, for example here, are used two guitars, the 60 Rock Hero and the Stage Lead together. This is the 60s Rock Hero alone. This is the Stage Lead. Yeah. It makes some overtones and both together yeah, gives this uh, fat sound, uh, guitar sound. While changing to the third registration, you see what happens. The two selected guitars are switched off and the, and the third, the 70s vintage Wulitzer type e-piano is switched on. But both sound combinations are already set in the second registration. That means if you change to the third, nothing happens. Yeah? You can play, change, nothing happens. And if you play again, yeah, you have this new sound, which is absolutely great. Yeah? A very important part which makes this song, this rock song, absolutely great. Here you have this chord. It's, it starts with a C minor at nine, like this. Okay, left hand, not only played um, to change the chords, but also used for a real voicing, played with the CP80, like in the original. You can see it in the video as well. They played the keyboard part with the CP80, the legendary electroacoustic piano. The story is that the bass plays at the beginning the C. Like this. That means I start with the C minor at 9, yeah? then A, A flat major with root C, B flat major, root C, and C minor at 9, root C. The first chord is a regular C minor with at 9, at 9. The second chord, A flat major with bass C, is played like this. Very simple because we are in the AI fingered mode. We play the deep note C and the A flat resulting chord is A flat major with bass C. And the third is the B flat major with root C, which is a little bit tricky, we can play the B flat also like this and we can play the octave of C, but this is really not very comfortable to play. Now I play the Wulitzer sound and I don't need effects like modulation anymore, that means my Sustain pedal is available for other functions. Okay, direct access and pedal. And here you see, 
The foot pedal is set to bass hold. As soon as I press the pedal, the bass is fixed on the root C. That means I can play like this. Bass C. And this is great, right? Now without So, in the second part of the song, the chords are much easier to play. I use the organ. Yeah. And the chords are... F minor. And this is the chord E flat major with bass G. Played like this. Yeah. You can also see it in the display. E flat major bass C. Yeah. Yeah. And this is absolutely no problem to play with the general with regular AI fingered mode. And that's why my pedal is now available for another function. And you can see it here, direct access and pedal. The pedal is here again set to modulation plus. This makes it possible to use the pedal for the plus layer. And the fifth registration, this is also a very important trick, the fifth registration recalls the break. Here I need this break for the steady de die. Yeah, break of the tiger. And this stop is made by the break. If you play, it is of course difficult to remember that is it a fill in or is it a break. And you can make everything inside the registration what I did. Yeah, one more time. Yeah. And you can see how important it is to have also the left hand with a sound. Play things like this. Yeah. And this is really important to use this left hand sound to play some counterpart melodies. We go over to the second first, yeah?
see I selected another multipad. And you see the multipad I selected here, the, the name is Nervous. The important thing is we have this element. And these elements are pushing the song even more. That means if you, if you play without and with, uh, gives more power. gives even more power and accompaniment style is always the same. It is a pattern. And that's why we always need to have some development inside the song. Okay, then the seventh registration is again, even more, but in this case, sound wise. I have here. Yeah. And again, the foot pedal is set to modulation plus, which is great. Okay, and the ending of the song is again using the first ending already set inside the eighth registration. By the way, all the registrations are, of course, also with good namings that you will understand what happens. And the last one is, as you can see here, the ending. And again, another multipad set. And this multipad set I really like. Uh, it's Power Toms. It is usable for nearly any song what you play. And that's why I selected here the, uh, this one, which makes the ending really live and really punchy. Okay, The Eye of the Tiger with Genus. I hope you enjoyed. Please check it out. Discover Genus. Everything is prepared. You have simply to play it.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.